Hey everyone, it's Annie Tier. It's been a while since I did one of these shoutouts and as well as informing everyone whether, not whether, but what's going to come out on Patreon. So I thought I'd give you all a little update so you know what's currently going on on Patreon. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to go into the shoutouts. Uh, a lot of things have come up. A lot of things has changed. There's going to be a lot of huge things I'm going to be uploading tonight. It might even catch you off guard, but hey, stick around and hopefully you enjoy the reactions. But anyway, let's just get into the shout out. So for Patreon number one, I want to thank is Kendan for uh, Kendan. Appreciate you uh, joining pa the Patreon as well as Michelle 747 Kaiser Sani Snookies 13 Cricks, I think that's how you say it. Lu Lusmal, D Master XD, Pastel, Christopher, I'm sorry, Christopher Wagner, and numerous, qu numerous courting. A again, I apologize. I'm horrible with names. It, it is what it is. Uh, NZ, a NZ, NZ. And last but not least, Cody Fox. Th appreciate you all for sticking around in the Patreon. So yeah, um, make sure to look forward to more episodes or of, um, well, basically new information of what's going to come out on Patreon. If you just look over to uh, one corner of the screen, I can't tell. I'll know once I upload it. But if you look at one corner of the screen, you'll know everything of what's coming soon, what's currently going on. And yeah. Uh, hopefully you and I uh, hopefully you all have more members later on or sooner than later. But other than that, thank you all for supporting me. Thank you all for sticking around. You guys are amazing. You guys are the real ones. And I look forward to seeing more people uh, join this community. Join again. I will say this right now. You have a choice of joining the Patreon or not. You don't have to. It's fine. But if you do, look forward to a lot of stuff as well as new stuff that I'll be adding over here on my YouTube channel. We already have Manga Monday, which is kind of a surprise. And for most people that are on my Patreon, you would know. But yeah. But other than that, thank you so much for your attention. And I'll see you guys all in the, in the review. Yeah. See you guys there. What up guys, Annie Tier Guild Fair. This is going to be a redirect to um, solo leveling chapters 13, 14, and 15. Now, I was going to do chapter 16, but it got a little late and I still need time to um, edit and upload and all that stuff. Unfortunately, there won't be any chapters for 7 Deadly Sins. For some people that are wondering, I apologize for that. But, I promise that I will upload 7 Deadly Sins chapters tomorrow because it doesn't take that long but because I have to edit and upload so for those of you on patreon wondering where's the seven deadly sin chapters don't worry I promise I'll upload more tomorrow I promise I'll upload some seven deadly sins it's just it's pretty late and uh, uh, had a long day whatnot here and there so I apologize in advance but I didn't just do this I also was able to do God of High School which you'll be seeing tonight so hopefully that makes up for something but uh, yes, uh, I also, like, I'm not going to lie, I was tempted to go even further, but considering the hours, uh, yeah, I, I made it short. So I apologize for that. I'm slowly still trying to get used to the habit of upload. I need to get, like, I need to bring in the habit of uploading consistently like how I used to be. And I'm sorry if I keep messing up here and there. I promise I will get into a state where you guys will see me upload more frequently. I promise. So just be patient and you'll see some good stuff. But once again, I promise. I know I, I know it's a, it's a tall order, but I will get back into the swing of things. It's just I need you guys to forgive me whenever I do like, have days where I don't do good or this and that. But look forward to 7 Deadly Sins tomorrow for sure, 100%. I'm going to upload Digimon tomorrow too. Railgun should be tomorrow also. What else? Da, 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 da. Some Inuyasha because that clearly won the poll over on my Patreon. But yeah, uh, uh, links in the description below if you want the full link reaction. Megas only. I don't use Google Drive links here because as always, 
if I put it here, my my I'm gonna get a copyright strike, and I ain't risking shit. Uh, so yeah, that's why. <laughs> so if those of you, if you guys are gonna ask me like, like why, like why, uh, why, why do, why do you use Megalinks? Why can't you use Google Drive? Because I'll get copyright strike. And Megalinks still work. Just saying. Um, but yeah, so. Honestly, all in all, in this whole leveling chapter, it, it was basically just our main character, Jinwo, grinding his level so he can be at a stat to where he feels like he can fight the final boss. And at the end of chapter 16, we saw the final boss, which is a fucking snake. Yeah, thanks. I love snakes. No, I don't. Fucking hate snakes, dude. Why'd it have to be a fucking snake? I knew it was going to be some kind of animal, but anything. But then again, what would, would I rather it be? Whether I rather it be a snake or a spider? No, I'd have to say a snake. If it was a spider, it will definitely freak the shit out of me. So, yeah, uh, I think I prefer it being a snake over spiders. Spiders freak the hell out of me. Snakes freak the hell out of me. But if I have to choose between one... Spiders are definitely worse for me. I can't stand looking at those things. So yeah. Um, well, at the same time, I'm noticing not only is he getting stronger mentally, he's changing. He's getting mentally stronger in order to be able to have the confidence and like the determination to follow through with these dungeons. Because the one thing that I always notice, I feel like the one thing that's always held him back is the fact that he lacked confidence and that lack of confidence did affect his it affected his overall performance when in the field so i feel like more than anything what really need to improve what really needed to improve was his confidence and to be able to do what is needed in order to survive these treacherous areas thankfully he did and he was ready and good to go so I'm proud of him for that, for doing what was needed in order to get the job done. Good on you there, mate. So I uh, can't wait to see how um, uh, Jinwo does once he fights this final boss. Hopefully he's able to take him down. I mean, I feel like he is. It really does feel like this dungeon was specifically designed to raise his level and raise his overall uh, mental and physical strength in order to, be, to handle what's what's to come later on in uh the series because right now he's making great progress and i just can't wait to see how much better he does as we delve further into the series because right now he's doing great i'm loving his entire progression from beginning to end and um i mean we still haven't seen the end but overall his progression is getting better and better his character is getting better and overall i just can't wait to see what he does once he reaches a level, because we do know early on when we read chapter zero, he was going to get at a point to where he becomes confident in his own abilities, to where he becomes an S rank hunter. So I look forward to that when he gets that that like that that abundance of confidence, while at the same time reaches the level that he was properly deserved, and then no one can talk shit about my boy anymore. Because he's going to be doing down, he's going to be taking down all the big time bosses. Facts. And I can't wait to see when he does. But, uh, okay, let's just end it off with a question, guys. Question one. Um. If you were in Jinwo's shoes, and you were fighting a particular beast or monster or whatever, what kind of beast... Mo I, well, let's say animal. What kind of beast, animal, or whatever would you not want to fight in a gigantic form? For me, I can't fight spider. Like, I would not want to fight a spider. A spider would free... Uh, just looking at a spider m makes me freeze up and, like, I, like you know, like... I, I feel like low-key I even have arachnophobia. Because spiders just freak the h hell out of me. Question two... If you were to have one weapon you can have for yourself in that dungeon, what weapon would it be? Would it be a sword like Jinwo? Uh, let's just hypothetically say guns you can bring? A shield? A dagger? Or what would you bring with you? 
if you had at least one weapon you can bring with you to this dungeon and what would it be let me know in the comments down below but yeah other than that guys that's it for me see you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment sub if you haven't already really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates and i'll see you guys all in future content again i'm going to do my best to raise activity on this channel so stay tuned for that uh for those of you that don't know i did had an experience quite a while ago way back in uh mid to late june but it looks like things are starting to become better we have hits and misses sometimes here and there but that just comes with recuperating but I feel like for the most part, I'm 100% recuperated. It's just getting back to the swing of things. But trust me, we will get back to the swing of things. And it will be soon. Anyway, guys, see you guys next time. Peace.